Cisco certification pass. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? There has always been an atmosphere of difficulty, of complexity, of privilege around Cisco certifications. They would always be referred as, and I'm not making it up, if you read about them at Quora, if you read about them at Reddit, if you read about them at different tech blogs, you would always come across this, these are beast certifications, these are very difficult certifications, all other certifications are a breeze compared to Cisco. So there is this atmosphere of privilege among those who passed these certifications and succeeded. Today we are going to focus on one specific certification path presented by Cisco. There are four levels at their certifications. So first level is entry level certification. It can be for cybersecurity, it can be for networking, but it is entry level. Second is an associate level, right? It's a certification that is a bit more difficult for entry level. At associate level certifications, they are preferred for those who are looking for junior roles, right? The third level is professional level certifications. And the fourth level is the expert level certifications, the most complex certifications. And this is where your certification pass at Cisco ends. It is true that they have a complex structure for their credentials, right? We have now considered four levels, right? Entry level, associate, professional, and expert. But there are also different paths under these certifications. There is a cybersecurity path, enterprise path, and several others. You can see it on the picture that should appear on your screen, right? But level-wise, today our focus is entry-level certifications. There are two certifications that you can pass at entry level. One of them is at the cybersecurity level and another one is at networking level. Overall, the certification at entry level is called Cisco Certified Support Technician, CCST. If you pass it at the cybersecurity level, it gets the cybersecurity appended to it. Cisco Certified Support Technician in Cybersecurity or Cisco Certified Support Technician at Networking. In order to earn full credential, CCST credential, you have to pass these two exams, which are different exams. They are not the same. That's why it's important when you're considering this credential, it's better to pass both of them, similar as with Core 1 and Core 2 for CompTIA A+, in order to get full credential and not to get partial credentials. The cybersecurity entry-level certification tests you on cybersecurity concepts. It doesn't go too deep into the technical acumen as such. It doesn't test you on a variety of cybersecurity tools, but it does give you this theoretical foundation. Very, very little technical skills that it tests you on, but it tests you on a broad theoretical foundation. So that whenever you're preparing for associate level examinations, whenever you're considering to participate in job interviews, you're prepared. You have this theoretical level and at least you can answer the interviewer's questions. You can sort of serve among these definitions and pave your way through the entry-level cybersecurity jobs. This was for the cybersecurity certification, CCST cybersecurity. The cost of the certification is $125. The duration of the certification is only 50 minutes. Like this is basically the shortest exam duration I've seen among tech certifications. If you know something shorter, please comment down below and 50 minutes. So you're not gonna get too many questions in 50 minutes, are you? So in this case, it's easier to prepare for it. And there is a free course available on Cisco website. I will try to leave the website link in the description section of the video that you can use in order to prepare for this examination for free. Networking certification, CCST networking, is at enterprise certification path. So if you consider starting your career in a big enterprise like Tesco supermarkets, Sainsbury's, it can be Bank of Scotland, it can be BT, British Telecommunications, it means that you can start from an entry-level certification and then you can grow by passing other certifications within the enterprise. 
So enterprise level of certifications is for those who see themselves in big enterprises, working as a part of networking team, IT team, or any other relevant team or division. Networking certification, very similar to cybersecurity certification, tests you on a basis of networking definitions. Know how about networking, what is IP, what is DNS, what is HTTP, how networking works, this whole flow, what is a subnet, what is a LAN, and etc. So it gives you this push that you need in order to start preparing for CCNA, uh, an associate level of certification, or it gives you a good knowledge and foundation for the job interviews for junior networking technician or an internships in networking and something alike. Again, the networking certification costs $125 and it lasts 50 minutes as well. So if you pass both of these certifications, CCST networking and CCST cybersecurity, you would spend, if you pass both of them on the first try, $250 and you would get the credential, CCST credential. So for $200, $50 one credential at the entry level Cisco. This is not bad. This is quite a good investment. And if you have no clue about networking, about cybersecurity, if the IT is something you only heard yesterday, this is your starting point. This is where you need to start along with maybe IA+. But in networking and, and cybersecurity, this is certainly the, your starting points where you should get into this start gaining knowledge and pass this certification. For sure, it will help you in your career. This was about entry-level certifications. Don't forget to enable notifications on my channel so that you don't miss my videos about associate-level Cisco certifications, about professional-level Cisco certifications, and about expert-level Cisco certifications. Thank you for being with me today and you know the drill. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button on my video. Have a nice day. Bye.